All right, um, tributes continue to pour in for singer and Afropop producer Robi Malinga, who died on Monday. He had been ill now for a number of months, apparently suffering from iron deficiency. Malinga won the South African Music Award last year for the best produced album. And uh, a memorial service for the South African music genius will be held this coming Friday, which will be followed by his funeral uh, service next Tuesday. But joining us now uh, in our studios here to share some of the fond memories he has of Robbie Malinga is uh, Spusi Solo, uh, also known as DJ who is uh, a friend and most importantly a colleague. Good morning to you. Thank you so Adi much Malang. for coming through. Thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't even know where to start DJ Spoo because this was someone very close and dearly to you. Yeah, I think um, number one, it's, it's, it's condolences, you know. We, we thank the country for the heartwarming messages and just our concern in the entire music industry. He was a very young man. He's, he's done extremely well for himself. He's an icon for us. Mm -hmm. And as much as he was a young man, but we brought money at him. Yeah, mm -hmm. not just for himself. I mean, this is someone who's uh, unearthed so much talent in South Africa, young musicians, up and coming. Yeah, he's, um, he's the greatest producer of all time in this country. There's, there's two um, of the most highest selling producers of all time in this country, and that's him and um, Obamchiko Twala. Mm -hmm. Obamchiko Twala was responsible for the careers of um, the late Mam Brenda Fasme, so rest in peace. Robin Malinga produced everybody from hip hop to um, Afro soul, Afro pop. Um, quiet though, house music. He's responsible for my career. He was my musical mentor. He was a musical mentor to a lot of people. He's worked with everyone from WHP, Naima K, Zahara, Kabelo, Buga Two Shoes. And he had evolved to um, unearthing new talent, the likes of Abu Musa. Um, geez, I mean, there's, there's so many people. There's a lot of us. I can imagine people that have worked with him in the past. Abu Jakes, they've had a, a, a long standing relationship in the music industry. And there isn't anyone in this uh, in this industry um, in South Africa who, who doesn't know of Uprah Yeah, yeah, mm. no, he was very versatile as well. But talk to us about your working relationship just before we talk about your friendship in jail. Your working relationship with him, you are telling me off air that he actually worked in each and every project that you've ever had. Yeah, pretty much all my projects he's been a part of, um, except for the first one, but he's pretty much been my musical mentor is always at the, mu the ear for music. You know? yeah. You know? Um, he's been going out since he was young. He's done Kwaito music. He's worked with Abu Spuma Lawyer from back in those days. And he evolved from Kwaito to what Kwaito became as an Afro pop, evolving to hip hop and trying out different sounds. But my relationship with him and Jakes has always um, given my music career hits. He's responsible for the men that I have become. And obviously the, the music opened a lot of doors for me, for me to end up becoming the entrepreneur that I am today is, is because of his contribution. And he has done that for, the, for a whole lot of other people, unselfishly. He never wanted the, the spotlights. He's always been behind the scenes. He always guides. Um, he's a, an amazing vocalist, an amazing writer. He's got an, an ear for music, executive producer, um, producer. Um, He's a fully fledged musician and I think he's one of the greatest musicians of all time in this country. Other people used to say he was underrated, but I think, and he used to always joke around and say, but I think people who know South African music know that Robbie is, is actually the, the, the greatest producer of all time in this country. I don't think that's the problem with us. We don't get to celebrate our icons while they're still with us. We wait until they're gone and then we start talking good about them. Yeah, and I think um, Oprah Robi's music speaks for itself. His work speaks for itself. I guess you can see now, you can hear, you know, the, 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 the amount of things that people are yeah. saying. Yeah. Something that saddens most of us go, only at the age of 49. Yeah. I mean, having to look at his kids as well. I remember I read an article on him on one of the magazines whereby he was saying, my fear in Jika it's my children, they're still too young, they're spoiled. And I think when I'm gone, no one will be able, you know, to, to, to spoil them as much as I do. Yeah, I think it came as a shock and was a great leader. I mean, if you look at um, Rob Marley, his firstborn son, turned out amazingly. Um, very positive boy well-spoken, went to good schools, 
So Robbie, everything he did, he did for his family. Mm. Um, you can even follow his social media. It was always about his wife, about his children, about his family. But at the same time, he had a great sense of humor. I think people know that in the industry. Yeah. And um, he'll be dearly missed. It was, it's, it's quite a sad one and it's, it's, it's quite tough. It's very sad. Yeah, if it's tough for us, imagine his family. I can imagine. Mm. I wanted to ask, how's the family keeping? More so the <clears> brother <throat> because he was basically saying that when he passed on, he was holding him in his hands. Yeah, I mean, he got everybody together. He was a leader. I mean, he was like, let's spend Christmas at my house. And every, everybody was at his house spending Christmas. And he was there with his family. Yeah. And unfortunately, he passed on in front of his family. And I think um, it's not an easy one. It's not. It's not, yeah. Buddha. But your fondest memories of him and Jay as, as a, co a colleague to you, as, as a friend, what's that outstanding thing that you will forever remember him with? His passion for music. Clash of the choirs, you saw how he won it. He didn't just win it because he was a Robbie. He won it because of his musical taste. And just when he's in studio and when he's in his zone, you can tell this is a fully fledged, um, iconic musician. And that's what he was, and that's the role he played. Amakrutmani from Abu, Amakrubanjan Abu Stimela, Amakrutman Abafanan Abu, Abu Pravus Mashasela, all the way down to the latest generation. Everybody respected Upra Robi. But I mean, his fondest memories are people who know him in the industry know that he, he had a great sense of humor. He, he always cracked jokes, he always made sure that he makes all of you guys comfortable around his space. Um, his work spoke for itself. He never said, I'm the best at this, I'm the best at that. But I mean, he's, I mean, hey, from Musa to Zahara to DJ Sbu to, I, I can name yeah, so yeah, many artists. Yeah, yeah. Robbie is, is, is an icon and he yeah. deserves to, to go down with dignity with that dignity he deserves. He deserves yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, DJ Sbu will leave it at that. We all are saddened, uh, to be honest. And uh, as you, we say, condolences mostly to the wife and the kids and the family in general. And of course, his colleagues like the, the likes of DJ Sbu. Thank you so much for coming. Through. Thank you. Thank you so much indeed. All right, so let's. Uh,